Hello friends, it is Wednesday and I am here with my beautiful Olivia Joy. She is the real born Leilani yawning. Here's her little yawn. Oh, she loves to keep her passy in her mouth though. And um, we are here for on um, Wednesdays, we wear pink. Now the outfit she's wearing has some pink on it. The outfit I'm going to put on her is this little Halloween onesie with long sleeves. It says, so cute, it's scary. And it's orange. The words are white and silver with a little black cat. There's a little tiny orange bow right there. And I'm going to put that on her with this little pumpkin beanie hat. And then she's going to have these knee socks. And these knee socks are cream colored with orange on the toe and heel. And then right at the knee, there is a little orange pumpkin who has tiny little pink cheeks. So there's the pink. And she's also going to wear this pink pacifier clip to hold her binky that has a pink flower on it with a little green in the center. That is her favorite passy. I have tried giving her other passies and she just does not like them. Um, I'm gonna try to keep you warm, sweetie, by putting these little pants, I'm sorry, these little socks on you first. And I think I forgot to bring you a clean onesie. So I'm gonna go and get that, cause this, well, I think the orange will be okay on you. That onesie has been washed, but I think I do want a white onesie underneath. Oh, these are so cute on her. They're, they're a size zero to three from Old Navy. But, well, I guess I should say she is a size zero, so they're a little bit uh, roomy, but they look adorable. So I'm going to go and get her onesie, and I will be right back. All right, I am back. I found a white onesie. It actually says a little peanut on it. Um, the white onesies are at a premium in this nursery right now. I know Shara had said about some being on special on Amazon. I looked at them. I put them in the cart, took them out of the cart. Um, I was having to order some things on Amazon for my brother-in-law. Um, so things for babies have to wait, although... I could have snuck it in there and then my husband wouldn't really see it so much, would he? That's what uh, Kitty says over at Little Waddle. Sometimes you gotta sneak the items in there. Slowly, I'm gonna take your passy up for a minute, Olivia. Yeah, you just give the big yawns, my dear. Oh, she is such a cutie pie. I love this baby, oh. Yep, fall is upon us, friends. We um, have had rainy, cold weather for the last few days. Um, makes it really hard to get the leaves raked. And um, we have several pines in our yard, so they don't make leaves, but my husband is a little chagrined that I did plant a maple in the back uh, side yard several years ago and it makes a lot of leaves and then we have a birch in the front that also produces uh, leaves that need to be um, gathered up and uh, I do help him a bit with that so it's not like he has to do it all by himself but you know he likes to complain this is also a fall color for uh, tomorrow is theme Thursday. Fall colors and critters. And I think cats, cats are wild critters. There are wild cats out in the 
forests. Yeah. I um, went with my husband this morning to our uh, favorite exercise spot, the Lazy River, and uh, we had a good workout there. I thought I popped that popper there. There we go. Um, I think we walked about uh, not quite an hour today. Later, I'm going to go over to my church. I um, have volunteered to help do some organizing there with... Um, they have some rooms. They have a classroom that... Um, you don't want to put your arm down today, you silly girl. Sometimes she gets where her arm just doesn't want to go easily. Probably need to loosen her zip tie, but. Oh, you want to keep your hand up like that? All right. And, oh, let's put this on and then we'll get your passy. Oh, you look so cute with your little beanie. Uh, anyway, so many fall things to do. So much work in the garden. I have been neglecting my uh, gardens. You know what I've been doing instead? Playing with dolls. Does that happen to any of you? You get to playing with dolls instead of doing your gardening? Uh, I need to get a hold of that garden and get those weeds before next spring, I guess. I'm gonna just clip this right here, my dear, on your onesie. Oh, you look so cute. She's such a cutie pie. There's my beautiful Olivia Joy. She's got her little pumpkin knee socks, her little orange shirt. Her pumpkins have the pink cheeks. She's got her pink Passy clip, so she is all ready for, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Also, the blanket she's laying on has little pumpkins and pink flowers, and she has a pink pillow she's laying on, so. And because she's a newborn, she's very pink in her coloring. So, yeah, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Hosted by Shara at Reborn Living Doll. Friends, today in closing, I wanted to share a passage from this um, book that I've been um, using daily as a devotional. I got this from my dear friend, and um, it is titled A Woman's Daily Prayer Book. And each day there are messages, a Bible verse, and then a message to go along with it. And then usually some, either a little prayer or a little um, quote from a famous person. But um, today, on October 19th, I wanted to read you the verse because this morning when I read it, it just spoke to me and I thought, this is something that I really would like to share with all my dear Dolly friends. So, it goes like this. Although you have not seen Jesus, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy. The scripture reference is from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 8. And then um, the little uh, writing that goes along with that verse says, Jesus said that those who would believe in him without having seen him would be blessed. We get a glimpse of that blessing here in Peter's words of encouragement to the church. It is a blessing to live in such joy. People can work a lifetime to amass money and all the things it can buy without feeling such true joy. Yet those who trust in Christ have an abiding, indescribable, and glorious joy that fills their innermost being. This does not mean we spend all our moments singing tra-la-la-la-la, -la -la, though. 
It means that even on our most trying days, we land on hope instead of despair, love instead of hate, and peace instead of anxiety. Our joy in belonging to Christ in having an eternal hope trumps every trial. Then the little prayer at the end. Lord Jesus, thank you for the joy that belonging to you brings to my life. In you, I have all I need. Friends, that just brought me such encouragement today and really made me see that the joy that I have in Christ really does help me in the way I look at situations. Um, things that happen in my life, uh, I have a different perspective on them sometimes than, than other people in the same situation may have. And the reason I have a different perspective is because I have true joy in knowing Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And I just pray that for each one of my dear friends, that, that you also would know that joy. And um, if you don't, I pray that for you. And uh, yeah. So until the next video, friends, God bless you. And bye-bye.